Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the specs on a 1970 AMC Rebel machine. Uh, this is for the hard top. Alright, so starting out, base price was $3,475. Moving on to the engine, it had a V8 iron block. It was 389.6 cubic inches. The bore and stroke was 4.165 by 3.574 inches. Compression ratio was 10.2 to 1. Horsepower was 340 horsepower at 5100 RPM. Torque was 430 foot pounds at 3600 RPM. It had hydraulic valve lifters, uh, five main bearings. The fuel system was a single Holley four barrel carburetor mechanical pump. Lubrication was a pressure gear type pump. Electrical was a 12 volt. The exhaust system was a dual exhaust with a two and a quarter inch aluminized pipes. <clears throat> Moving on to the transmission, it was a Borg Warren T10 four speed manual with a 10.5 inch cl uh, clutch and her shifter. The ratios of that transmission first was 2.23 to 1, second was 1.75 to 1. Third was 1.35 to 1, fourth was 1 to 1, and reverse was 2.16 to 1. Moving on to the differential, AMC model 20 with twin grip, limited slip differential. The ratio was 3.54 to 1. Moving on to steering, it was 16 to 1 variable. Turns to lock was 3.2. Turning circle diameter was 37.9 feet. Moving on to brakes, it was a hydraulic power assist. Up front, it had an 11.14 inch four piston disc. And in the rear, it had a 10 inch drum. Moving on to chassis and body. Construction was a unibody, a unibody bobby style, like I said before, was a two door hard top. The layout, engine in the front, rear wheel drive. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my allergies have been getting to me. Moving on to suspension. The front is a independent upper A arm, lower Lower control arm with a twin ball, joints, coil springs, telescoping shocks, and a 0.94 inch solid anti-roll bar. The rear was a four length, four link trailing arms, coil springs, telescoping shocks, and a 0.95 inch solid anti-roll bar. Moving on to the wheels, stock machine mag style press steel wheels. The front and rear were both a 15 by 7 inch. The tires originally came with a Goodyear polyglass, um, polyglass, which front and rear were both a 235-60-15. Uh, weight and measurements. Wheelbase is 114 inches. Overall length is 199 inches. Overall width is 77.2 inches. Overall height was 54.4 inches. Front track is 60 inches. Rear track is 60 inches. Shipping weight was 3,650 pounds. Curb weight was 3,731 pounds. Capacities, so how much fluids it held. Crankcase was 5 quarts with filter. Cooling system, 13 quarts. Fuel tank was 21.5 gallons. Transmission was 2.5 pints. Rear axle was 4 pints. So let's move down to performance acceleration. 0 to 60 was 6.4 seconds. Quarter mile was 14.4 seconds at 99 miles an hour. Top speed was 125 miles per hour. Uh, fuel mileage was 13 miles per gallon. So the production's a little bit iffy about how many were made. There's two numbers that this company found, which I'm getting all my information from Higgins.com. So a bit of uncertainty has left us with two potential product figures. American Mus uh, American Motors ugh. American Motors either built 1936 or 2329 Rebel machines in 1970. I'd be curious if anybody knows the exact number to know that. Um, the article I'm reading this from is from 2007, so we might know by now. But I think the numbers for 1970 are pretty impressive. Anyways, you guys, I hope y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all hustle harder.